guys you're welcome to another interesting episode of frankly speaking with glory my name is glory elijah so today i will be asking you guys a very very interesting question what character of game of thrones are you well i want to say that i am 90 percent of all the characters of game of thrones because seriously guys I am absolutely obsessed with most of the characters and I have to give thumbs up to the directors of Game of Thrones because um, I heard that in the world of acting, directors are gods off the stage, yes. And for a director to cast a character or to cast an actor, I feel like they have looked at that person and then, be and then they believe that this person would greatly interpret the role of a particular character. And I must say that they did a great job. Of course, I haven't read all the books, but I believe that they actually did a great job of it. Back to who I am in Game of Thrones. Um, first of all, I am Cersei Lannister. Wait, 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 I'm trying to sound like her. I am Cersei Lannister. How did that go? <laughs> yes, I am Cersei Lannister. I love Cersei so much. I know that Cersei is very, very hateful. Cersei is very, very evil. Cersei is very, very annoying. Cersei is everything bad in Game of Thrones. But if there's any quality that I love about Cersei, it's her ability to sacrifice all for the people that she loves. Yes, and that is what being humane is like 50% about. That part of Cersei is something I have never really seen in any other character in Game of Thrones. I mean, look at the way she protects her kids and look at the way she protected Jeffrey. She knew that she had birthed a monster for her son. And most of the things that Jeffrey did as king of um, you know King's Landing and the Seven Kingdoms she was totally shocked by all of them but then the mother's nature in her the mother's instincts in her kept on telling her that look this is your son this is the son uh, this is the blood of your blood and you actually carried this person for nine months so do you really want to do anything bad to this person you know so and she supported him all the way and then that's the other part of the story where she committed incest with her brother Jamie and automatically Jamie is the father of all of her kids but she still went ahead to protect him regardless and no matter what people were saying she just did not care she like she totally didn't even give a fuck of whatever people were saying you know so I love the way Cersei loves the people that are dearest to her another quality that Cersei has that I totally totally am obsessed about is her comportment Cersei comports herself like crazy the way she walks the way she smiles I mean her side smile that smile is so evil and twisted <laughs> but I'm totally totally obsessed with that smile I mean the way she gives out her own threats without even blinking an eye remember from season one when um, Lord Baelish came to threaten her about the knowledge that he had of her being in sexual relations with Jamie, her blood brother. And then, um, what did he even say? He said, knowledge is power. And then she looked at him and then she told her guards, seize him, release him. Yeah, no, 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 kill him. You know, like she just threatened him in a few seconds. And then she said, power is power my god the day i watched that scene i just picked up my diary and i wrote it power is power yes guys power is power yes i mean in this world i believe in sometimes knowledge is power but then what better world will we have if we just had that kind of power all right guys so i totally totally love that particular quality that cersei has and i love the fact that She's very proactive. Yeah, she thinks about the consequences of things before she carries out any threat or action. And of course, she knows that if she kills this family, this is going to happen. And she's always, always prepared. I love the fact that Cersei is very brave. I love the fact that Cersei is very, very, um, should I say, reserved. But then when you disturb her peace, when you disturb the people that she loves the most, then she would definitely deal with you. So I totally, totally love Cersei. Another character that I totally, totally am obsessed about is Ramsay Bolton. <laughs> Look at your faces. I know that you guys are completely shocked. 
I know that you guys are like, is she crazy? Why is she choosing Ramsey over other people? Listen, guys, let me tell you. This is what this TV series is all about, Game of Thrones. It's not about um, teaching you how to, how to be nice, how to be good. No, it's teaching you how to be strategic. It's teaching you how to always prepare for war because... Seriously, honeys, life is a battlefield of its own. Love is a battlefield. Knowledge is war. I mean, so Game of Thrones, I believe that that TV series was totally out to teach us the ways and the hows to, you know, prepare yourself for battle, but mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, everything that has to do with humans and everything that makes us what we are. So I love Ramsey Bolton because you know he has the gift of playing with people's minds i mean look at the way he turned theon Greyjoy from a proud ironborn to a dog a common dog who sleeps in his canary i mean look at that isn't that pure gift pure gift pure talent i mean aside cutting off his manhood physically he also succeeded in ripping off theon's manhood psychologically and come on guys let's give that guy some credit it is not every human being that can do that and i totally love the fact that ramsey doesn't rely on physical strength to do what he wants to do to his enemies no he relies on the psyche and that is really really powerful and the third character that i am like i raise my hands for the person but bow that is none other than Tyrion lannister hey we have so many things in common i'm short i'm petite Tyrion lannister is an imp i'm not an imp I didn't say I'm an ape. I'm just short. Yeah, Tyrion Lannister is an ape. He's well versed, well learned, well read. The man is a walking brainiac. And I love the fact that he is extremely smart. He is extremely intelligent. He is extremely, extremely, should I say emotional? Not extremely emotional, but he's very, very emotional because um, the first time he displayed that level of emotion was when he was still a young lad and his brother um, played a prank on him by bringing to him a whore whom he paid. And then thinking that the lady genuinely had affections for him, after having sex with the lady, he proposed to the lady and then the lady broke the news to him. So that was his first heartbreak. So I feel like from that, he is very, very emotional. And then when we saw how extremely emotional he was, was when he brought her whore from the battlegrounds or battle camps to King's Landing, despite the warnings of his father. And at the end of the day, we realized that the whore, um, what's that name? Shay. Yeah, Shay finally betrayed him, even if he was trying to protect her. And Shay did not only betray him, she also went ahead to sleep with um, Tyrion's father and became Tyrion's father's whore you know so his emotions led him to murder shay in cold blood and to also kill his father yeah he had another reason for killing his father his father hated him so much because the father believed that he killed his mother in childbirth um at childbirth so he also killed the father because the father believed that he murdered jeffrey his grandson you know so the whole story is just totally totally complicated when it comes to the lannisters and yawahala i mean those people they are not at all drama free. They are the kings and queens of drama in the Game of Thrones. So I totally love Tyrion. And I was really impressed after watching um, the last episode of the entire series. That's um, episode six of season eight, where despite it all, after all said, all done, all acted, all dramatized, Tyrion became the only Lannister that survived. Yeah. I mean, I was so impressed, you know, so what took him through the wars and everything? His brilliant mind, his great knowledge, his smartness, his, um, his wisdom. Yeah, his wisdom because he knew that he had to kill Shay. Shay had to go, you know, so he couldn't allow love to, to blindfold him anymore from the stark reality of life, you know? So I feel like all of those qualities that he had you know led him through life and brought him to the end of game of thrones to still remain the hand of brandon the king so i totally totally love Tyrion lannister and i totally believe that i 
have the qualities of Tyrion Lannister. Mm -hmm. I am a brainiac. I am very intelligent. And I am just Tyrion <laughs> in the body of a female. So another Game of Thrones character that I totally, totally love, and I believe that I am that Game of Thrones character, not by events, <laughs> but by the latter experience, is Sansa Stark. I totally love Sansa because when you monitor the way she evolved from being a naive, stupid little girl into a grown, intelligent and extremely smart woman from all the experiences that she had at the hands of the Lannister at King's Landing in the hands of Joffrey you know to when she went back to Winterfell you will realize that Sansa actually developed that is someone that in literature we call a round character mm -hmm. a land a round character is someone that actually grows evolves and develops you know for good you know so I totally love the way that Sansa evolved she didn't just evolve you know physically but she evolved in her mind she developed a mind she did not allow all the evils of the world that she went through that she experienced at the hands of the lannisters at king's um, at king's landing i'm blabbing so much guys anyways let's take a breather and continue now sansa did not allow all the evils that she went through at the hands of the lannisters at king's landing to deter her from becoming the strong and empowered woman that she finally became at the end of the show. Sansa was at first eager to go to King's Landing. She was totally eager to become queen. She always wanted to become queen to Joffrey. But at that point in, episode, in season one, she never realized that she could actually become king without an evil king by her side to rule people. You know, so I feel like it was actually a great thing her going through all of those torture, the maltreatment, mental abuse, psychological abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse in the hands of Ramsay Bolton and every other evil that she had to go through to become the strong woman that she eventually became. So I totally love the way that she also played Littlefinger by his own game. You know, Littlefinger was the most manipulative and destructive character in Game of Thrones. I also love the way that he played everybody, you know, taking what he wanted even though it cost him his integrity. But then Sansa learned from him. And even Littlefinger also confirmed to Sansa that, hmm, you're learning fast, you know? So I totally love the way that she, she picked up the pieces of her life. She picked up the pieces of her remaining ego, her pride, and she also stood to defend her family and her countryside, you know? and. You know, you could see that by the way she kept on warning John about swearing allegiance to Daenerys Targaryen. So I love the way that Sansa evolved and I love the way that she connived with Arya Stark to kill Littlefinger. So that is my own take on which character I am in the Game of Thrones. I am so many of the characters, but because of time, I don't want to talk about all of them, but the major characters that when you think of them, just think of me, frankly speaking with glory, are Cersei Lannister, Ramsay Bolton, and Tyrion Lannister, and Sansa Stark. So guys, that's me, what's yours? If you are willing to share the character that you are or represent in the TV series Game of Thrones, go ahead and do so in the comment section below. And hey, if you totally enjoyed this video, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, a like, share this video to your circle and those who are not also in your circle. Mm -hmm. And also do, um, do well do me well do this family well by clicking on the subscribe button to become a part of this family and also turn on post notification to get alerts of my weekly uploads and that will be all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory thanks for watching